Like, that's why I hated I missed it last time. I was like, man, the only day I miss it is the easiest day of the you know? Yeah. Like, for real. Yeah, and it was I hard on us because of Skag, the Skag, the, the uh, other X Mart was surging. The Ferris was, the Ferris running, was running hot. hot. And this mower was on your trailer at the house. Yeah. <laughs> the best mower I got at that time is that what was because because it was on and for me to unhook all the shit that was on the i had the equipment trailer yeah i had all the mowers chained down i did it all the night before it took me an hour to get them mowers on there and position right where they want to roll around no i said you don't like doing it. I see now you, you see what i'm saying that was why i was so upset and then i knew and then i get over here right and i got i don't have the other truck so i don't have no weed strength. strength because i didn't have my lawn on the lawn trailer i had bobcat trailer so there's a lot of things, Zach. So how you feel about that? Get you on the camera. That was kind of neat. Now, do you see my frustration? I do. I spent an hour loading that trailer up the night before. You were so pissed that day. I was so mad, dude. I know. You'd have been mad too, though. Oh, yeah, I would have. I would have for sure. Yeah, and then I get over, and if everything went smooth and me and Anthony had no problems, it'd have been better. But I left the best mower at home on a trailer. With no weed eater strength. With no weed eater strength. couple of days y'all know I've been testing out and kind of running the Ferris you know uh, slowly but surely stepping up a little bit longer stepping up a little bit longer the last few days uh, and all of that was for this job you know to make sure that I don't get it out here and it run hot on me or anything haven't had any problems with it running hot uh, of course it's not running at 160 degrees either but I was reading where uh that if this thing stays around 200 then that's perfectly fine if it gets up you know 210 220 then you start having problems and that's 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 what the temperature gauge says too you know uh as long as you can you know watch it and so i'll probably be the one on the ferris until at least well for the most part of the day and that's okay because the Ferris is uh, by far, by far, the most comfortable mower I got. And it's probably the best cutting mower I got too, of all the mowers I've. The Ferris mower that I have, it's probably the best cutting mower that I've ever had, of any mower I've ever had. Uh, it, I mean, uh, it certainly cuts better than the Skag and the Exmar. Uh, it, it cuts more solid now. There's a couple drawbacks to it too. It's not as fast. It's not as nimble. And, uh, you know, and it's real heavy. But it makes up for it in cut quality because it cuts. It's, it's just a sure cut, man. They ought to name the deck Sure Cut because it doesn't miss nothing. It doesn't leave a bunch of scragglers. It doesn't. It just. It just mows right through and contrary to what people might think it's got a cat diesel on it blah blah, blah it will bog down on you oh it will yeah so you know uh, you have to be careful of it uh, everything about it is screams big cut big acreage cut you know it's it's really not <clears throat> made to do these little bitty lawns you know i can do the little lawns with them but i wouldn't give i wouldn't give one of these guys that mower to go out with not on the little bitty lawns i wouldn't feeling pretty good we've had a great week this week uh so i haven't heard back from the customer over there about the uh about that pool i mean not the pool area but the the area right beside the pool and i'll show the picture that i took yesterday really doesn't show the context of where that area is and according to the pool area by the time we got done over there i was just ready to go man 
you know, uh, so I just hope that they let me do it, man. I would just about do that shit for free. Well, eh, probably not. <laughs> just to show them what we can do, man, you know? There goes the Zack attack. Feeling pretty good today, though. We're having a uh, good mojo. A lot of you guys are right, man, you know? Uh, you know, all the years that I had Bo out here, which was, you know, pretty much every year, there always, you know, was, was, well, I was always thinking, I don't know what I, I really don't know what I was thinking. You don't know what you don't know and you don't know. Uh, but, you know, having Bo out here, I thought was like having another guy out here, but really he did a lot more hindering than hurt than, than helping. Uh, he just did because of the fact that he uh, was so uh, all over the place and he stressed Ray. So, yeah. But having Bo out here versus having, you know, uh, the guys out here that I got out here now. It shows that, well, I don't have to have a third person out here every day, okay? You know, uh, I don't, and, and I had rather be in the spot that I'm in now than be in the spot that I was in last year. Even though it appears that I have less help, we're making more money and we're not working as hard because we're not backtracking anything. I'm not spending any time in my brain running bow down you know where i'm dependent on him you know it's a codependent thing probably for real real yeah so and i guess it's like that with any people that you that work for you that you kind of depend on uh i mean the definition of codependent i mean I'm dependent on Zach too, just like he's dependent on me. So it seems like to me, now I might be wrong, not no doctor or nothing. It seems like to me that every relationship, uh, employee employer relationship is a codependent relationship. I mean, you know, I mean, I, I don't know what the definition, I don't know if that sounds about right though. But you can see on those bigger properties, if you really look at, you know, at everything, like the ivy that I cut off that that back building on that one where I cut the bottom a few, of, well, about a month ago now, you know, and it killed all the ivy on the house, on the on the back place. See, if, if you don't do that kind of thing, that building would be covered with stuff. I mean, it would be growing air crazy. And now when you look up the side of that building, I'm not talking about the house area, I'm talking about the side of that building in the back on that one property that we did yesterday, uh, it, it, all the ivy's gone off of it and it looks so much better it, I mean it just it makes it it just looks a lot better see back in the day <clears throat> and this is what I found in you know in my area you know back in the day uh, people tended to let ivy grow all over their house all up the brick and, and, and everything and that's okay if you're in a cooler climate than Georgia, you know, but in Georgia, the climate gets so hot that uh, these vines and things, they'll grow all up in the house. I mean, they will actually go through the windows and, and they'll mess the siding of a house up. Uh, not to mention the bugs and stuff that they bring, you know. If you're in England or somewhere where that kind of thing's real popular, you know, where, you know, it, it's not hot like it is here. I mean, this Georgia heat, y'all, is, 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 I mean, it's, it's, it's a, it's a whole, it's, it's a, it's a, it's another animal. Humid, hot, and just straight ugly, you know, in the heat of the summer. Uh, it's stifling heat, you know. I know a lot 
lot of people, you know, that, uh, that do YouTube, you know, they're from up north. And I could not even identify with the kind of cold that they have up north. And they probably couldn't identify with the kind of heat that we have here, even though they do get 80, 90 degree temperature. Uh, it's, it's not the same. You know, it's just not, it's, it's, down here, it's like just smoldering heat, you know. It ain't got there yet this year. But, uh, it's, it, it we headed that way. You know, this morning is going to be pretty sweet. Now, the mowers don't like to cut as good when it's wet, of course. Uh... So, it usually takes a little bit longer. These guys are going to have to pay attention to what they're doing today because we're not going to, we can't be leaving a bunch of stragglers out. So, everything ought to be uh, drying up here in about another hour, hour and a half. So, once it all dries up good, then the mowers start cutting a lot better. And it's, it's not going to be that, that wet no matter what. I put a fuel in that truck last night and in that and in the skag so everything's set over there uh, I got a set of blades I might put on the Xmar uh, I hate changing the blades on the skag it's such a pain in the ass man uh, but let's just see how things go over here uh, biggest thing is the Ferris you know put to the test today because yesterday I never had to really run it no more than about an hour, you know. The trick to the Ferris is don't let it get too hot when the blades turn off because it takes a minute to reset that stuff. Uh, the last time it got hot and, it, and, and the blades shut off, I couldn't get the blades to come back on. Uh, it took a couple of days. I don't know what... I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't even understand that. I got the mower home, filled it up with water and everything, and the blade still wouldn't turn on. And then all of a sudden, it just they, they came on, you know? Weird. Oh, right, yeah, I got to get fuel, man. So... I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to get over here and uh, cut us a place to park, man. So yeah. Great fucking train, man. Unbelievable, dude. Oh. <laughs> See, if I hadn't stopped, had to stop and get fuel, then I would have made it across here. This might be a 20 minute delay right here. How crazy is this? And see, and see the way it is, is if you look, if you see, if I had, if I had, if I had to, if I had not have stopped and got gas, I wouldn't have caught this train. And, uh, what I should have done, and I knew it yesterday, is I should have, uh, filled the mower up on the way home. Because then I wouldn't have had to stop today. Me having to stop is what is going to cost me, well, the time it took to stop and the time I'm going to have to wait on the train. Not to mention, if uh, if Zach Zach's probably going to get caught by the train down there. I hope he does because I 
I know he, he had to have gotten caught by it. Because see, down there, we come across the track, come down here, and then come back across the track like this to go to where we're going. But if he has to pull in behind me, we got a problem. Because there's no place to pull in. See? Man, don't just saw. It is what it is, y'all. So, uh, we got everybody going. Uh, I ran the Ferris over there for about 20 minutes, and it seemed to be doing good. Uh, the Skag not cutting this stuff that great, uh, at least on the setting that we had it on. Uh, so I couldn't have Anthony on the Skag, uh, and it you know and not be cutting because a lot of times guys that come out here, they don't pay attention to, like I do to the scragglers and stuff where you just could be wasting a boatload of time i've been over here where i've had uh guys run on a mower over here and they not even let the deck down and be cutting for an hour so uh yeah <laughs> so there's a lot there's a lot more to doing the bigger properties when you got guys uh working for you uh now uh Especially guys that, that are not used to being out here. And usually that's what you get when you come out here on the big cuts. You got a guy that can sit on a lawnmower and run the lawnmower because they're intuitively human, you know, friendly, right? But uh, they don't pay attention to what the mower, they just are going, you know. Uh, they're not paying attention to what the mower is not cutting. So with the Skag, uh, we had the mower setting on three over here well three was leaving a lot of stragglers so i put it down to 2.75 and it did and it's doing a lot better uh but anyway i told anthony watch that temperature gauge so we're going to keep an eye on that i'm fixing to string this weed eater right here and i'm gonna go on and weed eat uh the part of the fence line that i weed eat uh that's how we usually do it over here uh uh i know a lot of uh, guys in my spot they might not weed eat nothing but i don't mind weed eating i'm not gonna wait until uh two o'clock to do that i'm gonna go on and weed eat the whole fence line all this down there and then all the way to the other side of that wood line so yeah maybe i'll put y'all on the weed eater you know uh but i gotta string it first and man it's so beautiful out here i mean these properties are just I mean, dude, come on, man. So I did order the drone, uh, the mini. It's going to be about four weeks before I get it, though. Uh, I just want him to make sure he keeps an eye on that temperature of that thing. So he, he don't need to be doing all that. Just go. You can weed eat. He's going around and around a pole. The, the, the Ferris ain't made for none of that, y'all. The Ferris is made for wide open cut and just go it's cut so freaking good y'all all right y'all i gotta put this weed eater together and uh, yeah
Y'all see the old man, the old man that went all the way down through there, all the way over there, all up the other side, all the way to where that little well house is, right there inside that gate right there. The whole fence line, I did about three quarters of it, maybe 60% of it, so, uh, yeah. Biggest thing with me is all the walking. And y'all notice I got shorts on too. Uh, and uh, just a little trick, and I know a lot of guys already know this or whatever. Just a little trick <clears throat> that I use when I'm weed eating and all that. And I, I barely got any grass on me, you know, uh, on my legs, you know, slinging at my legs. A lot of guys, uh, they don't even wear shorts just because of that, right? Well, the, when I weed eat, like when I'm like like when I weeded this this fence line right here, right? All that and all that. Well, I got the weed eater in front of me. You know, uh, I don't like walking backwards with the weed eater. I like going forward with the weed eater because I can walk better, I can see better, and everything. Uh, and that what that does when you walk forward with it, it throws the stuff away from your legs, away from your body. It's just a little tip, man. You know. Uh, try it and you'll see what i'm talking about if you're if you're weed eating and you're running the weed eater this way it's going to throw it at you if you're running the weed eater this way it's going to throw it away from you and that's i learned that trick early on and most guys out here in my spot they know that trick you know uh i we i was able to weed eat that whole fence all the way around there's a lot you know it's probably a freaking i don't know it's a long way i don't know how many feet it is but it's a pretty good bit uh and i didn't i mean i didn't you know uh get grass all over me or nothing i mean i got it on me but not it wasn't slinging hard at my legs like it would if i were walking uh coming up the hill it just i mean little things like that make a big difference y'all i'm just saying uh the ferris is doing real good uh so now i'm back i'm back at the truck uh and the more that i could weed eat uh, we're finna go over here and check on the ferris and but as we go we're gonna go down through this fence line that i just uh, weed eated and y'all see how much i weed eated uh and it took me 20 minutes you know uh not very long at all uh so much so i mean you know uh but the old man he'll get out here and do it y'all i mean if you if, if you know so if you are in your late 30s early 40s and you think about starting a business, but you're worried about, you know, uh, the toll on your body. Well, you learn little tricks along the way to make it where it's not that hard on you. There's no way that anybody that I've had out here, and I know there's people better than me, but any of the guys that work for me, there's no way they could have weed eated that as fast as I did and as thorough as I did. I'll show y'all because I just don't, I, I don't, I don't waste moves. Uh, even Zach, Zach might have been able to do it faster, but it wouldn't have been any better. See, uh, you know, uh, I don't even know that he could have weed eated it faster. I'm pretty fast with a weed eater. It ain't that I'm athletic or nothing. It's just that I don't, I don't waste steps. I don't waste moves, and I get it pretty freaking good from the, off the muscle. So we're gonna see how good I got it. Uh, let's ride down through here and uh, and see. I, I'm.
Don't do that, man. Stairs ain't nothing nice, man. Dude, when I got up there, though, it's all... It's got at 200. So... Turn it off for a second. I don't hear no bowling or nothing. So, yeah. But I just wanted to show y'all, that's what the ferrets can do right there, y'all. And that's one pass. Call it a one pass ferret. Look at that. Those lines are nice, man. And this is just trashy grass. This ain't nothing. I mean, look at that, dude. That looks wonderful. That's that ferris, man, in one pass. The 61 inch deck with the cat diesel. See, all these other mowers got to hit things twice. The Ferris is just one, one, one shot. All right, y'all, I got to put the camera up. As, uh, we're trying to wrap this thing up. I want to make sure I don't miss nothing. Uh, I got to get that little spot, that little square right there, uh, and that little piece right there, and then all three mowers are going to be right here. And once that happens, it, 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 we're moving pretty fast. So, uh, a job. Who the hell would want a job, y'all? Are you kidding me? A job? For what, man? Come on, man.